What's up, Internet? My name is Nerdy, and this is a Nerdy Nightly reaction to the first, the pilot episode of Resident Evil. That's it. That's what they called it. Uh, the Netflix show. This show doesn't have good reviews, but I love Resident Evil, and I've never missed a Resident Evil anything. I love the old movies. I think they're cheesy and campy and very fun. I, I'm not saying they're good. I'm just saying that I love them. I am hoping at the very least that I feel the same way about this series, but we won't know until we watch it and we're going to watch it together. You're probably wondering, uh, hey, nerdy, where, where's Clarus? Clarus doesn't like zombies. They freak her out. Uh, and when she watches zombie things, she has nightmares and can't sleep. And so she's not going to be joining me on this one because zombies. Kind of a rad tent. Is she doing experiments in the apocalypse? Rad. Cool. This looks great. The world ended a long time ago. This is a cool intro. I kind of dig it. Why not? Right? Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you having a good day? Uh-huh. Wi-Fi still works. What kind of a book? Shakespeare. The complete works. Wait, when I left, she was still working her way through Wrinkle in Time. She went from Wrinkle and Time to Shakespeare in six months. That kid is a genius. That kid is so smart. Is that like anti-zombie perfume? I feel like putting on the perfume and then covering yourself in multiple layers maybe would diminish its effectiveness, but what do I know? Oh, she's making a TikTok. Setting up her tripod, where's her ring light? That perfume better be real strong. <laughs> yeah, Clarus would hate this. No, girl, no! Start moving now! Start moving immediately! Don't wait! Don't look over! Run! <laughs> Did the others stop coming for her because that guy got her? <laughs> it's a nifty little contraption. She's gonna have to move her camp, right? It's gonna smell so bad. Like the smell of all that burning flesh would, oh. So like, close your tent flap. All that dust and shit got in your tent, girl. Effective beginning to the show though, honestly, like that felt very Resident Evil to me. It's a big boy. What the hell? Bro, you need a gun. You need bombs. You need an army. <laughs> Welcome to New Raccoon City. Hey. I really think you guys are gonna love it here. Oh, the school, they have an amazing STEM program. <laughs> Has he been talking to them the whole time, not realizing they're not listening? <clears throat> it's a good joke. He's wearing umbrella earrings. That's interesting. Never was a hug more awkward than that. Last year, we were voted best place to live in the world. By who? Lululemon horse, guys that jerk off to CrossFit. <laughs> Elon Musk. You can drop it. Bitch act. Not an act. I really liked the future stuff. I don't know, I don't know if I like this. What happened to the chick that stole that beer? That stole that beer. What happened to that girl that stole that one beer one time? <laughs> I know sometimes it's not so bad to just get along with Carol. Yeah, being a semi-nice human being isn't a bad thing. <laughs> All right, we were in the middle of something. There was a Resident Evil show happening. Shh. 
she's she's dead. She was just slammed head first. <laughs> Unless she has like T-Virus superpowers. There's no way she survives that naturally, right? See, she should have had a gun. What was she doing? It fried those fuckers, but it going off. Why is he checking her liver? Check her vitals. <laughs> Ow! Concussion, definitely. <laughs> she has to have some sort of like superpower, right? Fuck me. She's a survivor. Aren't you all survivors? You're living in the apocalypse. I think at this point you are all survivors. <laughs> much does she hate me no one hates you dad giving wesker kids is such an interesting choice like he's a character that in my opinion has been so defined by his cocksure self-confidence you forgot my sample i can work a needle i'm gonna be awesome at heroin <laughs> his face <laughs> Don't do heroin. Heroin's not a good drug. There are better drugs. I probably can't say that in a YouTube video. I probably have to cut that out. Cool. I'm an asshole, okay? Yes. Yes, you are. The writing of the show has made that painfully clear. You've got the best sister. So remember that and say fuck it to everything else, okay? <laughs> Come here. I guess it was the best scene of like this time period so far. I don't know. I, I don't. It's interesting. I don't know that I care about those two girls going to high school? Okay, the past storyline just became a lot more interesting. What? Hi. Oh shit, they're cool. They sit backwards on chairs, which is not comfortable on those plastic chairs where it dips down in the middle. Oh no, this is a full on high school drama. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about children. Oh, I'm vegan. That's stupid. <laughs> My dad took me hunting last fall. It was awesome. What is? <laughs> and when the end of the world comes, we eat the vegans first. I okay. I'm vegan. That's stupid. Let's fight. That wasn't great. Where the hell were you? Uh, here. Fuck you. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. They're so aggressive. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> Billy got beat up for being vegan. Go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Don't care, how is she alive? She has to have superpowers. That thing flung her from like 30 feet in the air, head first into a car windshield. At the very least, she would have like major spinal damage, right? Uh, slow down. Yo, this is like a, this is, looks mostly practical. This is dope. There's still a lot of old tech around London. The rich, she's in Auckland and Oslo. They want it. That makes sense. I'm sorry. I, I should have just let it go. Can you be cool? Why would you ruin your lunch? Has anything gone public? Nothing we can't handle. Albert, if it's happening again. Is that because of this product they're launching? Why would you launch it? If you're already seeing that it's killing people, I just. It's interesting. This girl's about to get her ass beat. Did somebody kill that girl? She's psycho, okay? Mr. Isaac, she jumped my kid. No, I didn't. Oh, and these days, everyone gets a trophy. Everyone's special, but... No school would allow an adult to berate a child without her parent there. Mr. Wesker, thank you for coming. The meeting wouldn't start until he arrived. This is ridiculous. Caught up. Work. Wesker. Shit. I'm a server admin. And, um, how many people can do your job, Dave? A thousand? Ten thousand? Okay, this is Wesker. Yep. Yep. And do you know how many people can do my job? One. Me. 
I didn't mean to... Uh... Threaten a child? Yeah, you did. Then who did it? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> okay. This is Albert Wesker. I get it now. So, everyone happy? Yeah. Totally. That was great. Lance Reddick? I, I get it. I get why they cast him as Wesker now. Why would she frame her sister? Oh, because she wants everyone to think that her sister's cool. I get it. Okay, okay. I've got a bounty on survivors. Turns out you're the number one most wanted. Oh, okay. I just figured she was working for Umbrella this whole time. I wanna see that I'm getting emotional. The use of music in the show has been really good. I will say. You have been granted Hello. a three-hour visit. Hello. Let's be honest, she has an unlimited pass. Her dad is Albert Wesker. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. Oh, I hate it. I'm really impressed by the sets of the show. A lot of it seems super practical and it just seems like they spent a lot of money. And so, yeah, I, I just think from a set deck, Standpoint. The show's been really effective. Hi. Are you going surfing this weekend? What time do you think you're making? Actually, Does she hate rabbits? I have your number, so. Yeah. Aw, they're gonna go on a little date. I want to follow these two. I hope that we like. I hope in the background of scenes at Umbrella throughout the season, they it like tracks their relationship. <laughs> All right, I have your number, so. Okay. Oh, she's vegan. Right, so she's against animal testing. Right, 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 right. I'm, I'm dumb. Okay, anything, anything. She says we need to get all the animals out of Umbrella. Did you know Umbrella does animal testing? If they print out a picture of their dad's face and walk in like holding up a picture of their dad's face, I will cackle. They're doing it that night? They're not planning? They're just like, let's go. Maybe turn the lights off. Oh. State your name. So the camera. Hello, this is Albert Wesker. Uh, yeah, okay, that works. The lights, that's cool. Watch out. I'm surprised they haven't like tied her up or something. You'd think they would have like binders or... What does Umbrella want with her? Her blood, right? It's gotta be her blood. Is that supposed to be a reveal? Are we supposed to know who he is? Mr. Tit. Mr. Barnstar. They just introduced him as if he was Darth Vader. Go. Why? What, what was the point of this? That guy literally worked for you. Okay, so if you're in this situation, you get the girl, If even if you want to kill everyone, that's fine. Like, I, kill, I get why you might want to kill everyone, but you get the girl in your custody first. You make sure that you get the target. First, they didn't even see that the target was actually there. Like, why would, oh my God, okay. Albert Wesker, you need some better security. This is, this is, this, this is a shameful. Oh, they're the reason for the entire thing. No, girl. It's not good. There's no way this this drug is six weeks away from being ready. <laughs> if the dog can work the elevator, that will be the plot twist I need. That's the plot twist I want on this show. The dog took the stairs.
Cyrus? That is so funny. Wow, how did the dog chase them up five flights of stairs? Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Also, they're so close to outside. Why didn't they just leave? Introducing joy for kids. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I was getting into that song. Play it again. Come on. Got this. Hello. This is Elvis. Oh Jesus Christ! I saw it coming too. I'm just so jumpy. Oh no. Is the lesson of this episode, don't be vegan? Kind of feels like that is the lesson of the episode. Netflix is anti-vegan. I think that's... <laughs> so stupid. Oh, hi, Jared. Oh, hey, Jared. Your sister's been looking for you. Or... What a twist. Stay the fuck away from me. Okay, so she has superpowers, right? Okay. Well, that was an episode of television. Uh, I don't know if it was, I, it was not bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, I think the, the future stuff is really interesting. I think the past stuff got interesting at the end. Yeah. I don't know, it's Resident Evil, right? It's following a, 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 a plot line that I feel like I have understood for a long time. Uh, Resident Evil has a structure to it. And this one is weirdly breaking it up into two different timelines, which I, I don't I don't know if that's gonna work long term. Like what's, what's weird about the, the show is that the, the final reveal that the sister's still alive undercuts the emotion of the scene just before it, right? And I'm worried over an eight episode season that the, the like the mystery isn't really there. Cause they get, they go into Umbrella and they're like, oh, this place is weird. What's going on here? And well, it's Umbrella, like we know. And so I think that as an audience member who's watched a lot of Resident Evil, I, I almost feel like maybe they shouldn't have called this Resident Evil. Although what then would people watch, right? Like Resident Evil is the selling point. But then when you, when, you, when you call it Resident Evil and then you put them in New Raccoon City and you make it Umbrella, it, it makes the plot line feel inevitable. And so I don't know. I, I feel like some of the tension is gone for me personally. I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, the demon dog gets out. It's a Resident Evil thing. And so I don't know. I, I almost wish they'd managed to hide some of the storyline and the surprises of the episode a little bit better. Uh, but it's hard with marketing and it's hard with IP. And so I, I, I don't know that I can really fault them for that. I did not like a lot of the like angry young girl stuff at the beginning of the episode. I thought that that was just not written super well, um, but it's fine. It's fine stuff. I, I like the future stuff. I enjoyed it. I like that community. I really don't understand like why Umbrella was so incompetent at the end of the episode, just shooting people before they have her in their clutches. Cause there was a point where they had guns pointed at her and they could have grabbed her then. <laughs> But instead, they basically let her get away. So that's really on them. <laughs> it's just so incompetent. Um, the music's great. The sets look practical and cool. Like, I, I really, it doesn't feel like it's all on green screens, which I really appreciated. So I, I don't know. This got way worse reviews. It's, it's not the greatest television show ever. But considering the reviews that I had, like, kind of heard, I haven't really done dove in deep in any of them but like the, you know the surface kind of blurb part of the reviews i thought it was going to be like a total train wreck and it's it's not the the acting seems fairly good lance reddick obviously is just the best part of it because he's so good um and the the lead the girl who plays jade in the future um i'll learn all these people's names by uh next episode because i i should know them but uh she seems great but she's not in a lot 
um, the episode spent a lot more time in the past, but she seems she seems very good. I'm excited to see what happens with her. I'm excited to see who plays grown up Billy. Uh, I'm I'm sure Lance Reddick is still alive, so I'm excited to see how they age him up because that'll be fun. Um, yeah, that, that, there's good stuff here. It's not it's not a train wreck. Uh, it could still be. I mean, I've only seen one episode, so who knows where it, it goes after this episode. But it's it yeah. I, I'm surprised the reviews are as negative as they are considering that it was it was good you know it was a it was a streaming tv show about zombies that had some good moments i thought the the caterpillar didn't look awful it didn't look like the most photorealistic thing ever but i don't expect that i'm realistic about what the budget of a show like this is so yeah i don't know i'm pleasantly surprised i'm not like in love with it but i don't yeah i don't get where all the hate is coming from it is better than most netflix shows so yeah, that's a compliment, right? If you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, that's fine. Hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below. I understand. If you want to follow this journey, I'm going to do all eight episodes of this because I love Resident Evil and I've never not consumed a Resident Evil thing. So we're going to we're gonna watch all of it. And who knows? I hope I still like it as much as I do right now by the end. I would love it if I liked it more than I do right now because I'm, I'm like, it's, a, it's like a seven. It's, it's good. Um, but, uh, you know, there's always a chance that I'll hate it by the end, which would be very sad. Uh, if you want to follow me around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. And as always, y'all, do something nerdy tonight. Bye.